Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No one so holy, no one so faithful. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. There's none like you, Father. We give you praise. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. And so, Father, we thank you for this, another opportunity to gather together in your presence. We thank you to minister to these, your precious sheep. I thank you that revelation knowledge of your word will flow freely from heaven uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. None of me, all of you. Holy Spirit, speak through my vocal cords, think through my mind. If need be, minister through my hands to meet the needs of these, your precious people. We do approach the holy written word of God reverently. <clears throat> we cover the gifts of the Spirit to be in operation and demonstration. We thank you for those in person and those online virtually. We thank you for your tangible presence, the tangible anointing that are manifest. We declare and decree that we are the healed, protecting our health from sickness and disease. And Father, we thank you that you are a good God, you're a faithful God. We thank you that we have the mind of Christ and your wisdom is formed within us. So Father, we bless you. We thank you for the fear of the Lord. We thank you, Father, for a reverent you all of who you are. And we walk in the fullness of it. So we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for it now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Glory to God, glory to God. <clears throat> well, praise ye the Lord. Well, welcome to Spirit of Fire Fellowship. As we honor God, glory to God, we want to welcome all those in person and online. Yeah, God is a holy God. We want to thank God for our praise team. They did an awesome, awesome. Y'all better sing. Yeah, you, <clears throat> girl, you better <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Amen. Well, let's just greet one another, love on one another real quick. Those that are online, we want to welcome you to our virtual worship experience. We thank God for you showing up today. We don't believe it's by chance that you're here. There are many other platforms you could be on, but God has you here today. Go ahead now and share. Share this with as many people. Go ahead and click on the likes and share. And uh, just put it out there. Invite people to come online. I'm not going to keep you long today. We're going to give you a word that's going to transform and change your life. I do believe that in Jesus' name. Glory, 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 glory. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Well, as we are just coming together and worshiping, um, we, we are in the process of preparing even for our more uh, permanent in-person service. And we're just thanking God for uh, what he's doing in us and through us. And we're excited about what he's doing in our midst here in the great city of Richmond, Virginia and surrounding counties. But we thank God for a global word. We thank God for a word that will transform and that will change lives for the better. So go ahead, sit back, relax. Go ahead and get your cup of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you are, and enjoy the word. Get your pens and your pads ready because we're going to dig into this thing today. Amen. Well, for those online, if this is your very first time at a service here at Spirit of Fire Fellowship, we want you to log on to comment. Let us know where you're logging in from, where you're tuning in from. Whether it's locally, globally, we thank God for you tuning in today. Well, y'all, um, today, this is a week of Thanksgiving, and, and we want to give thanks to God for all that he's done for us. And as I was just praying and um, you know, one of the things that my job is as a pastor is to assess the needs of the people. And <clears throat> because as a shepherd, I have to tend to the sheep. And when I see something I may need to address, you know, some things you pray about, some things is like, oh, I don't have to necessarily pray about it. If I see the need, then I need to address it. Um, but this is something that I, I this thing today, and I feel like I need to start dealing with this. Um, I didn't tell uh, my daughter so far as, I wanted to give her heads up so far as a new series and all of that. I'm going to get started today on this, but we'll come back and redo some stuff with it. I, I want to talk to you and start dealing with the remedy. The remedy. I want to talk about healing and divine health. That God is, he wants his people well. He wants us whole in every area of life. 
He wants you spirit, soul, and body. He wants you well. It is God's design for all of us to walk in divine health and healing. And there is no sickness or disease that is currently attacking your body or your family, whether it's a mental disease, a physical disease, spiritual, whatever it is. There is nothing too hard for God. And Jesus has already provided the healing for whatever situation you and I are dealing with. So we're going to dig into this word. Now, I want you to get ready because as the word is being sown, something has to happen. And so God has dealt with me about, is, you know, um, well, I don't always have to announce every single thing. <clears throat> I just do it and let the word do the work. Um, that's one thing I've seen is that the word is powerful and potent enough to bring itself to pass. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to sow. I'm going to sow. I'm going to sow. I don't have to be like nobody else. I'm going to be all me. I'm going to preach this thing. But I'm expecting signs, wonders, and miracles. You hear me? You hear me? I'm talking about it's time for us to see what the scripture calls many infallible proofs. So get ready to come off medication. Get ready for doctor's diagnosis to be changed and reversed. That one time they saw a thing there when they took an x-ray, next minute it ain't going to be there no more. You better get ready, whether you're here locally or whether you're watching online. The same God, the same grace that's here is going to be the same manifestation that hits your house. All right, <clears throat> let's go to 3 John 2. Let's dig into this. First thing I want to deal with, I want to establish the fact that it is the will of God that all men, all people live in health and divine healing. It is the will of God that all walk in health and healing. It ain't just for some, it's for everybody who believes. Now, 3 John 2, let's go there. I'm going to read this um, out of the, I'm, I'm going to read it out of the Amplified in New Living Translation. 3 John 2. <clears throat> and I want us to read this together. And I want everybody online, I want you to go ahead and grab your Bibles, and I want you to go ahead and turn to this, and I want you to read it. It's going to be very important that you read this and that you see it for yourself. I know some of us have seen it, these scriptures on several occasions, and, you know, you've heard it over and over again, but I don't want you to become slack in hearing when you're reading scripture, when you're going over scripture, even scriptures that you've been privy to in times past, things that you've already heard, things you've already read. Now, I'm going to read this out of the Amplified first, the Amplified Classic, and it says this. It says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well, even as I know your soul keeps well and prosper. Now, I want us to read this out of the regular King James. If you have that, I want you to go ahead and turn to there. And I want us to read it together out of the King James. If you got it, say amen. <clears throat> All right, I want us to read it together along with you at home. Wherever you are watching, I want you to read it. I want you to say it with your mouth, okay? This is very important. Ready? Let's read. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. He says, okay, beloved, I, listen, I wish or pray above how many things? How many things? All things, all things. I wish or pray above all things. Does that mean all things? What does all mean? All means every. So above everything, I want you to prosper and I want you to be in health. Now look at it. Why did he choose these two things? These are some of the two of the strongest areas that people have been suffering in, even in their physical bodies, even in their minds, when you're dealing with mental disease and mental sickness. I've seen more people talking about mental illness, illness like we've never seen before. And it's like, why? Why now? Why is there such an upheaval? Why is there such an uprising? Is it a thing where it just hasn't been there before, but now it's, it's here? Or was it now we're just diagnosing it differently now? What is it? What is it? What, what's the thing where, you know, people now, everybody is, is mentally ill or sick? 
So what is it? Why is the soul, the sickness of the soul, so prevalent now? We want to deal with this because God wants you healed in every area. You do not have to live with depression. You don't have to live with a mental disorder. You don't have to live with being bipolar. You don't have to live with sickness or disease. You don't have to live with diabetes. You ain't got to live with heart disease. You ain't got to live with glaucoma. You ain't got to live with being maimed because even Jesus healed the maimed. So that means if any body parts are missing, there is creative power available for those body parts to come back into being. I'm talking about from new eyeballs to new hands, new limbs growing out, stuff that's been missing, new kidneys, new body parts, new organs. Now, okay, oh Lord, yeah. And I've been feeling myself with this thing. I was just feeding off of it last night, and I was just getting stirred up and getting stirred up and getting stirred up. It is God's will for you to be healed. It is God's will for you to be healthy. From skin diseases to sicknesses, I don't care what it is. I want it all wiped out. Who, Lord? Oh, Lord. I'm going to say something about the Holy Ghost. I feel like I'm saying this about the Holy Ghost. And it's different for a man to say this because I know it might come across different, but I got to say it. Even for your time of the month, you don't have to live with the cramps and the pain that you've been walking in. It's under all of it. Remember, pain even in birth was a part of the curse. Remember, in the beginning with Adam, he says, you're going to birth in pain because of what Adam has done. That was part of the curse. It was never designed to be that way. Oh, look, yeah. But because, now, now watch this. What happens is we got to renew our mind. You got to renew your mind so that now you renew your mind and release from your spirit to now come against versus tolerate. When you have lived with sickness for so long, you become used to it. You become used to ailments. You become used to limping. You become, you just think it's a part of just getting older, whereas like God never does. I understand the outward man perishes, but the inward man is being renewed day by day. But you got to now begin to resist the aging prop. Man, come on. Come on, Holy Ghost. You want to start resisting some things that you've been accepting just because you're at a certain point in life. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's get into the book. <clears throat> now watch this. He says, the health of your body will determine the quality of your life. The health of your body will determine the quality of your life. Because remember, we are spirits. We have a soul. We live in a physical body. Our bodies are the houses that we live in. And if our houses are jacked up, then even though our spirit may be strong, now it's hard to get to places, do things, because our house is torn down and dilapidated. And God wants complete restoration. There are so many sicknesses that have hit people. Listen, I've had things hit my body. I've had things. Doesn't mean that we're not prone from, like, we're not prone to attacks of the enemy. No, the enemy will try to attack our physical body, but we have authority over all the power of the enemy. And the Bible has promised that nothing shall by any means, what? Hurt us. Let's go to Matthew 4.23. Matthew 4.23, and Jesus, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, 4.23 and 24, and it says this, it says, and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all. Let me stop here. If it's not his will for you to be healed, then why would he heal? Let's just think, just, 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 just be sensible about this. It's common sense to me. Why would he put, listen, why is he trying to put something on you just to take it off again? It's not his will. Don't forget, you have an adversary, the devil, who goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. In John 10 and 10, Jesus says, I, the thief cometh not but for the steal, kill, and to destroy. He says, I am come that you might have life Zoe life, the God can, kind of life, and that you live that life in abundance to the full till it overflows. 
that it, you've been designed by God to live life in abundance to the full till it overflows. You're supposed to speak this over yourself. I've been designed to live by God in abundance to the full till it overflows. Now, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself because I want to get to the end quick, but I got to take you on a journey to build you up there because I want everybody in here. Ooh, I want you, everybody in here and under the sound of my voice to walk in the authority of being a prescribed doctor in the word of God where we go and administer healing to all we come in contact with. Get ready for signs, wonders, and miracles. Expect signs, wonders, and miracles. Let me hear it. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Online. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Type it in the comment section. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Now, <clears throat> ah, before I get to that, let, let me continue in Matthew 4, 24. And it says, and his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. All I'm establishing is the fact right now that it is the will of God for all to be healed. Let's go to Matthew 9, 35 through 38. <clears throat> I know we'd be ready to shout, but you got to know what you're shouting about. And you got to be solid in the word of God. Because no word, no faith. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So you can't operate in this thing without faith. And you can't have faith without the word. And you can't have the word unless you got a preacher. That's what it says in Romans 10. How they going to hear unless they have a preacher? And how they going to preach unless they be sent? Now, what I said, Matthew 9, 35 through 38. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, huh, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease. Healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Healing every sickness and every disease. So watch this. The Bible is showing us that Jesus, watch this, in his authority and power, has the ability and even walked in this authority to heal every sickness and every disease of all the people. Now watch this. He healed them all. He healed them all. I don't care what category you fall in. Healing is available to all. Whether it's mental, whether it's physical, healing, it, listen, relational, because all of that's still tied in your emotions. Some of you need emotional healing because you've been hurt and damaged and you've been, it's been hard for you to move forward just from the fact that you still are suffering from something that happened to you 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He says, but when he saw the multitudes, I like this. Verse 36, when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because, now I like this, because they fainted and were scattered abroad and watch this. As sheep having no shepherd, then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest that he will send forth the laborers into, the, into his harvest. Jesus had compassion on the people because they were weary and tired. They were fainting. Listen, he saw them tired. He saw them weary. And so out of that, that hurt, he was moved with compassion on. He was moved. You ought to be moved with compassion on people you come across when you see them tired, when you see them weary. Now watch this, <clears throat> but watch the rest of it. And watch this. He says, they were weary and tired and were over all over the place like sheep without a shepherd. They were scattered abroad. They, 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 they didn't have direction. They didn't have leadership. 
They didn't have anybody to care for them. And that's part of the job of a shepherd, a pastor, is to now oversee and to be moved with compassion and see the needs of the people and see the hurts of the people and see things that's going on in your life and be moved with compassion and full of power. Remember what I talked to you about last two weeks and being full of the power and full of the Holy Ghost to come in to meet that need. What, see, this is why whenever I see you suffering, there's something in me and on me that rises up to attack what's attacking you. And there should be something in you when you see your fellow man that something rises up strong. Let me not call him something. The Holy Ghost in you. And all of a sudden, that anointing in you, which causes compassion, because the whole, watch this, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost to now be moved with compassion on people. But not only be moved from the inside, now he comes upon the outside to now get on your body for you to transfer that anointing. And now that anointing is designed to remove every burden and destroy every yoke on anybody you come in contact with. But watch this, you got to believe it. You got to be ready for it. You got to look for it. You're going to get to the point, you're going to look for sickness and disease. Bring them to me. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to share some other things concerning this. So Jesus was moved with compassion. See, it's my job to feed and to strengthen you with God's word. I want to strengthen you. I want to strengthen you. I don't want you to talk like every time this year my body goes through a certain thing where now we're conditioned mentally to go ahead and accept just because the season changes, I get the flu every year. So you are already preparing yourself to receive sickness versus planning ahead of time and building yourself up in the natural and in the spiritual because if I realize that sickness is a part of the curse and it is not God's plan for my life, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to reject what the enemy is trying to bring on me. I don't care. Listen, listen, listen. I don't care. Yeah. I, listen, I remember the beginning of this year, I remember um, I was diagnosed with COVID and part of me, my first instinct, my first First thing when I got the thing, I was hot. I was like, no, how dare you? I have already spoken to you and said that every disease, every germ, every virus, every bad bacteria, every parasite that touches this body dies instantly. Why? Because I walk in the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, which has made me free from the law of sin and death. I have already been made free, and whom the Son hath set free is free indeed. Well, how can you do that? Because the Word tells me I can do it. Listen, we brought up our children. Even the doctors, they knew our children, they never had the flu shots. They never had all this other stuff for all these other diseases. We said, you are not injecting our children with that stuff. And the doctors sometimes, they was like, you sure? No. It was like, well, you know it's flu season. I don't care. They ain't getting it. And they never got it. Am I lying? Never. None of us. How you going to do that? Because I got authority. You got authority. We have authority. And we're going to exercise this authority. And I begin to realize even the times I was susceptible was because I saw in some cases I opened some doors. Whether it's through not taking care of myself, not doing certain things. You see, and I'm not talking about all spiritual and no natural. I'm not talking about you not doing certain things, certain practices, making sure you rest well, making sure you ain't stressed out because stress will open the door and shut down your immune system and you won't even realize it. And now stuff comes in that normally you wouldn't have received. Now that's stuff because now you're not resting well, only sleeping on three hours and four hours. See, all of it. listen, hear me when I say this. I understand everybody, I'm not team no sleep. Everybody on the grind, no sleep. Your body was designed to rest. God told you to rest. Now you stressed out in competition. 
And God wants you well. He wants you mentally sound. I've been there where I've been sitting down and my mind was just racing. And it almost, I almost felt like an attack was going to hit one time and I had to say, settle down. What are you doing? My mind was just running, thinking about this, this, and this, and this, and this. And I was laying on the bed. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Uh-uh. I'm sensing something trying to come on me. Uh-uh. I take authority over you now. In the name of Jesus, you will not come on my mind. And I settled right on down. Settled right on down. Panic attacks. You know panic is groundless fear. You worrying about something that ain't even happened. God, God says, enough is enough. It is time for my children to rise up in victory and to begin to declare. Even, see, I'm getting ahead of myself. I remember when this, this, I had this last bout and I was in the bed. It was like the night, it just came out of the blue. And it hit my body and I had this chill. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Uh-uh. I said, body, in the name of Jesus, you settle down now. Because you got to practice it. You got to do it. You just can't preach it and don't live it. You got to say, okay, uh uh-uh. And I remember the fever broke. But then this was the interesting thing. When I started succumbing to it or just trying to like, let me just rest. And it was almost like the symptoms flared up. But when I rejected and resisted, say, no, I'm not going to lay here. I'm going to get up and move. They begin to dissipate instantly. So you have the ability to accept it or to reject it. Well, how can you do that? I ain't never heard nothing like that before. That's why I'm preaching it, because you ain't heard it. So I got to preach it so that you can believe it and so some faith can come so you can start walking in it. You Listen, your baby does not have to die. Your family member does not have to die. God said, with long life, I'll satisfy you. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but with long life, I'll satisfy you. You will not die prematurely. You will fulfill the number of your days in prosperity and success. Your latter years shall be greater than your former years. Listen, you going out with this thing with a bang. I'm telling who, whoever that's for. I don't know who this is for. Somebody listening. Somebody's listening. And you've been succumbing to it. You have already come to grips and start coming to terms with your life being cut short. But I'm here to disrupt that today in the name of Jesus. And I take authority over that spirit that's been talking to your mind consistently. Listen, there ain't no distance in the spirit. He knows where you are. He knows what you're dealing with. Listen, you might as well forget killing yourself. Forget it. It ain't going to work. I speak a disruption to suicide right now in Jesus' name. Somebody going to call you, somebody going to text you, somebody going to come over. I don't care if an angel got to manifest. There is going to be a disruption right now. And I'm telling you, in suicide attempts, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over it right now. See, for some of you, your compassion, there's also, there's also going to be a righteous indignation that rises up. But you're going to be hot. You're going to be, listen, when you see the enemy messing with you or your family or anybody in your vicinity, how dare you come into my house and do this? Oh, glory to God. I, I, I'm telling you, you better hear me. Ooh, Lord, I feel, man, I think that, ooh, I said, you talk, man, I, ooh. It feels like that time when I feel a surge of power and glory. I feel like I can snap the devil's neck in two. I can't stand that joker. I can't stand him. He tried to wipe me out. He tried, glory to God. He tried, whoo, Lord. You man, glory to God. Oh, Lord. Hey. Hey, glory to God. You tried, but you failed. I don't care. Every attempt has been failed. In the name of Jesus, 
Your children will live long. They're going to live strong in the name of Jesus. And we take authority over sickness and disease. We take authority over the spirit of death now in Jesus' name. Stop no more. Ooh, Lord. Yeah. It's time to rise up. Rise up, spirit of fire. Arise and shine. Rise up strong in your homes and be healed. Heal and be healed now in Jesus' name. No symptoms. I ain't playing with nothing. No, you better receive it. You're going to have to receive it now. Believe this. Believe this. Receive it. Rise up. Speak over your family now, man of God. Rise up. Speak over your house now. Rise up. Well, what if, Lord Jesus? You better hear me. You go home. You draw that bloodline around your house, and you ain't coming here with that mess no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, Lord? Yeah, yeah, Lord. Who, Jesus? Hari basi karna masukun. Who, Jesus? Hmm. Man, I'm just doing the first part of this thing. Lord Jesus. The Bible says this. How God, Acts 10, 38, it says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Why? For God was with him and God is with us and he is in us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? And Jesus said, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater work shall you do, because I go to my Father. The anointing is already on you. The anointing is already in you. The authority has already been delegated to you. So the same way, he went and healed all who were oppressed of the devil. Listen, oppression, strong pressure. God is changing situations. He's, oh Lord Jesus, you Lord Jesus, not only are you walking with power, but you're about to walk into people's lives with resources. And you're about to transform and change situations that you come into. God is going to send you as his representative. You better hear me. That means you got to be taken care of. It's going to be wet with the water, baby. Listen, when you set yourself to bless somebody else, the blessing got to come on you. The blessing got to deliver you. The blessing got to set you free. Woo, glory. Hey, glory to God. The blessing, the blessing will change everything. The blessing. The blessing will change a dilapidated apartment complex and will turn it into the Garden of Eden. I'm telling you, get ready, body of Christ. You're about to acquire like you never acquired before. Man, Lord, okay. I'm trying to settle my Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. What is this? It's the same spirit that dries out every oppressive spirit. Poverty is oppression. Yeah. 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 See? Yeah, some of you, what God is doing now, listen to me. Just because you can't afford the medication. Listen, signs, wonders, and miracles going to come on to go ahead and heal you of the disease where you ain't got to buy no more. But God, watch this. God is going to amplify your resources so now you can start eating better, so you can start doing better, so you can pay the bills on time so you ain't stressed out no more. I'm telling you, God is about to revamp everything in your life. You, man. Okay, I got to settle down. Lord Jesus, I did not come. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus came to give us the Zoe life, the God kind of life. Everything got to line up. Everything. The spirit of mammon is being removed off of your life. You are not ruled by money. You ain't ruled by resources. You are ruled by Jehovah too much. I'm telling you now, Jehovah, 
Jehovah is showing up. It's time for too much anointing. It's time for a too much blessing. I'm talking about overflowing everything you do. Listen, you're going to open up the cabinet and there are going to be signs, wonders, and miracles. God going to supernaturally, he going to manifest and multiply your resources for giving. He said, you got to believe this now. You got to walk in this now and you got to declare it. Mm -mm. You better hear me. God is saying, I got to preach this because I got to flush out doubt and unbelief. Got to flush it out. It's time to expect this to be your best year yet. You want to know why it's going to be your best year? Because you believe it's going to be your best year. See, when you renew your mind to the fact, have I not spoken these things unto you? Have I not said these things? Have you not had these things already deposited in your spirit? And when Satan tries to oppress you, he's trying to bring you down so that everything I placed in you won't come to pass. But the devil is a liar and he has failed. You have listened long enough. You have cried long enough. You have prayed long enough. And he says it's a time for you to walk in the fullness of everything you pray, everything you say. He says, believe me, woman of God, and watch what I'll do. Because the enemy will try to get you to stop sowing and to stop giving. Because now he'll say, look at where you currently are. And that stuff don't work. And what he's doing is working on your believing. Yes, you walked in the practices at certain times. But he says your heart needs to match up with your actions. And once you start believing me, you are going to see back pay for everything you sow. And you haven't seen it come to pass. He says, will you believe me? And every person that has talked about you, every person that counted you out, every person, and you counted yourself out, and God said, I forgave you, and he said, I cleansed you, and he says, I love you, and I want you to see my goodness. Glory to God. Woo. We coming for you, devil. You hear me? Yeah. Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And he cannot shut our voice down. It's about to be amplified. He's a who? Who glory? He gonna turn up the power. You better hear me when I'm telling you this. And if you don't agree with us, I recommend that you keep your mouth shut because you don't want the backhand of the anointing. Because I'm telling you now, the power is present. The devil is a dirty rascal. I can't stand him. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to shut the mouths of the saints of God up. He's trying to say, put oppression on them. Put pressure on them so that they'll keep their mouth shut. But it's time for you to open up your mouth, O Zion. And it's time for you to open up and declare and to decree in the name of the Lord Jesus. I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Hey, man, man, yeah, I saw that, Lord. Yeah, we come and win an army. And he says, and I see it. I see the children of God rising up strong in these last days. There is a spirit of excellence. And it's almost like a militant spirit. And it says, yeah, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent taken by force. He is saying this is an unapologetic redemption and restoration of stuff. You are about to be restored for past due wages. It is retro. I'm telling you, you better get ready right now. Everything you've been believing for. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, let me chill. Let me chill for a second. Let me chill for a second. Let me chill. Everything. 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 The devil is about to interrupt your children. I'm telling you, God is about to visit children who have been wavered in any way, shape, fashion, or form. And he is about to disrupt certain things. And he is going to show himself strong just because you asked me to do it. Just because you asked me to get involved. I'm going to get involved now in the name of Jesus. And some of them, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a jolt. I don't care if it's, it's going to be something. Something's about to happen. Something's about to happen that's going to shift the trajectory of your seed. You better hear me. I'm telling you now, there is manifested goodness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Elder, come here. You, I'm doing this in proxy for your children right now. I just see this thing. Since I can't lay hands on them, I'm going to lay hands on you and let the blessing come on them strong in the name of Jesus. And everything, every desire, every seed, every grace, every anointing, let them come on you now in Jesus' name. Yes! Woo! Glory! <clears throat> okay. Listen. 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 You better hear me. Listen. Listen. Bring it on. Bring it on. Listen. 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 When prophets do that, sometimes we just do things. I just do what I see. Whenever the Holy Ghost say do it, I just do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No. Too much. And God is validating. And he is restoring names as well. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you, he's validating. Many infallible proofs. Many infallible proofs. From fibroids being healed. Whatever it is. Yeah, le boche kanana said today. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I was about to say hemorrhoids for somebody. Whatever it is, it's healing that's taking place. There's a redemptive work in your spleen that's taking place. Livers right now in Jesus' name. Kidneys are being healed now in the name of Jesus. Past failures, past memories are being healed now. Yeah, yeah, Satan has held you captive from your past. But God is saying, I've already released you into your present and your future. Everything ain't going to be in the sweet by and by, baby. You had better expect to see the goodness of God while you live in now. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for some. For some. For some, it will be a divine plan. It'll be a divine strategy. Because what I want you to do is to build yourself up through discipline. And there'll be things that you have to discipline yourself in, in these next months, even going into the new year. But you have to make the decision now so that the thing that I heal you of will not come up upon you a second time. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Lord, I did not expect this to go here, but I knew whatever God needed, just needed. Whatever. Whatever. Confidence. Now, I know I got stirred up because it can happen when the anointing comes on, you get stirred up. But what you're about to walk in is going to be in such confidence. Well, you ain't got to do no theatrics, but you just simply say, rise and be healed. Because it's, he's, yeah, he said, it's me working through you. It's not you. It's me working through you. Just like I work through my son, I'm going to work through you as his body. And you're going to hear and people are going to hear and be healed. And they're going to say about some of you, just like they said about Jesus, how can this person walk and talk in this type of authority? Who is this person? Who are you? Well, you came and disrupted my world. I'm telling you now, there's a disruption that's taking place. And the body of Christ is doing it. In Jesus' name. 
I'm telling you, this, this ain't. You ain't got to scream about it. You ain't got to yell at the devil about it. You got to know how that, how, that, how that wicked rascal work. There will be, as you pray and cast out devils, and as you command things to leave people's lives, there will be the activation of demonic activity like you've never seen. But don't be surprised by it because what they're doing is they are throwing a fit right before them coming out of that person's life. So don't even go by how it looks. He said the fact that you commanded it to leave, the fact that you commanded it to come out, the fact that you commanded it to go. I'm talking about tumors falling off of people. There'll be some that might cough it on up that is in their body, and that thing come out. I, listen, I've heard of these things. I haven't seen that in particular. I mean that they saw the tentacles of the tumor still, and it was still moving and alive. I'm telling you, God is saying this. There are things that I'm about to use you to do. So go ahead and get ready. Well, you lay hands on the sick, and they recover. Yeah. It's like, just come here. Let's just pray real quick. I'm an authorized dealer of God's power and his anointing. See, I'm talking about you walking in boldness with this thing and not being intimidated by the sickness or the disease. God can heal a person in stage four cancer just like he can heal somebody of a common cold. The anointing is the same. It removes every burden and destroys every yoke. Now, I, I, I'm, I started laying this foundation, but in the coming days, I'm going to talk to you about how to minister to the sick. Because there are some people that you got to make sure that their faith is involved, and there are certain things you can't override, or certain spiritual things are in order, certain laws have been set in place. Some people have set themselves up to die, and only they can reverse it. But God will get the Holy See, this is when the Holy Ghost will start giving you wisdom. He'll show you and he'll reveal things to you. This has been so strategic because God says, I've been teaching you how to hear my voice. I've been telling you how to walk in compassion, but I've been setting you up to be used by me to now starting to see signs and wonders and miracles. But now you got to start exercising it and expect to see legs grow out. Expect to see blinded eyes open. Expect to see ears open. I'm telling you now, get ready. No, I mean, I mean, I'm so, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. It's going to be like any moment. The atmosphere has to be set for signs, wonders, and miracles. It's, it's going to take place, I'm telling you. This ain't just here. You're going to see it amongst others. It's going to be record-setting healings and... How I, what's the word I want to use? Not sight, sightings or documented healings, and you're going to hear more and more and more. And his fame went about all as he healed. His fame went about. All he did was function in who he was, and his fame went about. He didn't have to market himself. His fame went about. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, Holy Ghost. Healing. The healer is in the house. Yeah. Some bipolar disorders. Don't be so quick to allow people to drug them. Some of you may have to step in and help somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to and dealing with. Somebody may be listening. They're trying to drug them because they don't know how to handle it. And it's a spiritual thing that's happening. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, we got to spend some time with this. Your faith has to be activated. It has to be stirred up, solidified, so you can walk in the confidence and boldness of it. It's like, all right, here we go. You're going to see somebody, okay. And what's going to happen depends on, this is why you got to get flushed. You got to flush out doubt and unbelief. You got you to fill yourself with so much faith so that when you come into contact, 
it'll drown out. Even when the thought tries to come, it ain't going to work. When you realize that you're not doing it in and of yourself, your confidence grows. Okay, Father, now in the name of Jesus, I take authority over this. And I command you to be healed. Now, sometimes God will have to lead you, and you may have to start ministering a little bit here and there to people that before you pray for them. But God will show you. He'll show you. He'll show you what you need to do. But you're going to see this thing. It, 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 it's, 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 this thing is about to be amped up like you ain't never seen. Like you ain't never seen. Get ready, Lee. I'm telling you, you sound like you ain't never seen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to amp up. We don't already had conversation. It's already happening. This brother already walking in it, but it's about to grow. Man, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Whew, I'm just letting this thing settle for a second. I'm just, just settling down. In the name of Jesus. If you're dealing with anything, look here or at home. And if you can right now, lay hands on the part that maybe has been giving you any trouble or issue. We're going to exercise our faith right now together. I'll get to that. I didn't even get to that part. I want you to speak this, everybody here and everybody online. I want you to say this. Say, in the name of Jesus, body, I speak the word of faith to you. The word of God has declared that by the stripes of Jesus, <clears throat> you are healed. So I declare and I enforce healing in my body now. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I want you to lift up your hands and begin to thank God and begin to praise him for it now. Begin to thank him and begin to praise him right now. Begin to thank him and begin to praise him. Now I'm going to teach you some stuff. Hallelujah. Before I do this, hold on one sec. Before I do this, I want to teach you something real quick. And, and I know I share these things a lot, but it's very important. Brother Hagen was teaching in a, a camp meeting one year. And it was in an arena of about 10,000. And the Lord Jesus, it was in the roof and he appeared. And there was an open vision. And he says, I want you to begin to teach my people this principle. He says, the clapping of hands is neither praise nor worship. He says, tell my people, he says, of lifting up of holy hands without wrath or doubting. He says, if you teach them this principle and they begin to walk in it, it will set the atmosphere for greater and deeper signs, wonders, and miracles. He was like, wait a minute. I ain't never, oh yeah. I know the scripture that everybody always used, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. But he said, it's neither praise nor this. The Lord himself said it. He says, if you get my people to begin to praise me, and they set that it's going to set the atmosphere. Now, I was about to come and teach on the power of praise and thanksgiving today, but I started dealing with this. But when you begin to thank God, you are in the atmosphere of it's already done. It's already done, Lord. It's already done. It's already done. And I just thank you that I'm already healed and I thank you for it. I'm already healed. I no longer have to ask you for what you've already done. I just thank you for it already being done. And watch this. Now I'm going to just walk like it is already done. Oh, Lord. I get, oh, I hate, do I need to say this privately? Oh, give me wisdom, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Because oh, it's on me now to say, oh, Lord. Nicole, the Lord said, told me to say this to you. He said, just walk in the fact it's already done. You don't have to ask me. He said, don't think about it. It's going to happen when you least. It's almost like when you least expect it, 
But because you're expecting it, it's, it's, it's already done. <laughs> it is already done. And there will be great rejoicing. But he says, why wait? Ooh. Begin to declare. The baby's on his way. I just hear this. I hear this. Girl, there's going to be such rejoicing in your family. God, I hear this thing. This thing's so strong. It's going to be, it's like your family is going to so, be so extended. It's going to be such rejoicing. Oh, Lord. It's like the promised child. I don't, it's more than one. More coming. Glory to whoo, Jesus. Who Jesus. Glory to God. And y'all not going to have to worry about one single penny. The blessing going to come out the woodworks. You hear me? I'm telling you, it's going to be stuff that's going to start happening that's preparing the way. Lord Jesus, y'all have been so faithful. I am hearing this thing. Y'all have been so faithful, and God is so pleased with you, and he is so proud of you, and he just wanted you to know that. He says, thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping my people. And he says, I will honor you because you have honored me. And I will give you something else that you didn't even ask for. But because I know you would like it, I'm about to dump some stuff on you. And it's going to be unexpected. And it'll cause you to almost like want to faint at the goodness of God overriding your household. The Fleming name shall be known as the household of blessing. Man, that's Lord Jesus. Man. God, whoo, if y'all can see what I see. Oh, Jesus. Lord, man. Come here, Lee. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Lee. Come here, come here, come here. I got to give you this. May a double portion and wisdom come upon you, son. May you articulate the word in such a way and you will experience this, this authority and the S on your chest shall be a symbol of my glory that's on you. And you will lay hands on the sick and see them you cover because I've heard your private prayers and I'll give you what you even didn't ask for. In the name of Jesus. Shore base le base ote male se. Yup, and these signs shall follow him, him that believe. Yeah. It's gonna come out strong. Hold on. He says, For I'm gonna give you a mouth and wisdom that none of your naysayers will be able to gainsay nor resist, the scripture says. And even though some of them may have been more studied or more learned in some things, I'm going to crown you with wisdom that will baffle them. And I will give you simplified answers that will shut their mouths. I'm telling you right now, it'll shut them down. Because my power and my hand going to come so strong on you. And it's like the fire of God will be seen in your eyes. And they'll look at you in a level of fear because they think that you'll come, that you're getting angry with them. Uh-uh. It's the righteous indignation and the fire of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. 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 Glory to God. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got I to get out of We got to get out of here. Lord Jesus. Okay. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, total transformation. Yeah, total transformation, total transformation. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise for your word. Now, Father, we trust you and we believe that everything that you've spoken shall come to pass. We receive it by faith. We believe it in Jesus' name. We give you glory. It's not about, okay, Lord. It's not about me making a name for myself. 
for help me help your people. You raised me for this, for such a time as this. Yeah, Brahma, it shall come, it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Yeah, and it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Boldness. Fire. 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 And an intensity like never before. Oh, Shandu. Father, I pray for him. Yeah, let him not say anything. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, forgive him, Lord, forgive him. They don't know what they do. Oh, Lord, I said that. We forgive him, Lord. Okay. Sure, I said that. Oh, Lord, go shut up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Jesus. Mm. The fire of God is hitting this nation at an unprecedented rate. I see that, Lord. It's going to be some divine connections that we make. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, Lord. I see them. It's time. Free. The fear of the Lord. The grace of God. The power of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be who? Accelerated and unprecedented. Mm, mm, mm. And it will come to that time where the priest can't stand the minister because of the glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. And he, ooh. Ooh. And he'll do surgery on hearts while they're out. And he'll work on people. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ooh. And all our programs that tried to take years to get things done. He'll do heart transplants in moments. He'll get things eradicated in moments. He'll restore in moments. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless you. We thank you for it. And we call it done now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, there may be somebody you're not born again and you're watching. I want you to repeat this prayer after me along with everybody. Let's pray. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Say, I thank you for giving me your son, Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I make you the Lord of my life. I thank you that you've forgiven me of all my sin. I acknowledge now your lordship. Say, your lordship. And I make you Lord of my life. Say, Satan, I no longer belong to you. Jesus is my Lord, and I'll serve only him. All the days of my life. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me your son. I'm saved now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hallelujah. If that's you and you made Jesus the Lord of your life, go ahead and contact us. Let us know. You can email us at connect at spiritofire.us. There's information coming up on your screen. Praise God. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm about drunk here. Lord Jesus. If God is leading you to join this local fellowship, obey the spirit of God, whether you're local, whether you're global. God says, I want you to connect whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is God is leading you to do. He wants you to obey the spirit of, the God, the spirit of God. If that's you, I want you to make that commitment. Reach out right now, send us a message, and let us know, yes, I want to connect with this ministry. 
and I want to be a part of the move of God that's happening here. <clears throat> we thank God for you. At this time, we want to honor God also in our giving, and we want to honor him, and we call it opportunity for prosperity time. And even as we honor God, there's information coming up on your screen as to ways that you can sow and you can give. I'm just simply going to tell you whatever the Lord tell you to do, do it. Listen, as you give, it's going to be given to you again, good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. If you desire to give via Cash App, digital platforms, Venmo, if that's what God is calling you to do, do it, do it, do it. You, there's a QR code. You can scan it. goes to a secured website where you can sow and you can plant. Obey what the Lord tells you to do today and expect the goodness of God to be seen in your life. We're in faith with you for the hundredfold return. That as you give, God is going to start causing men to give into your bosom. I mean, resources going to come out the woodwork. We declaring right now raises, new jobs, new contracts, new businesses, that things will begin to flourish for you and work for your good, that the blessing is at work in your life. So as you give and as you sow, do so in faith. If you're here in person and you need an envelope, you can raise your hand, and we'll just have someone to give you and pass out an envelope to you. Um, or you can just give digitally on the digital platforms, and we thank God for your continued support. Praise God. Well, y'all get anything out of this today? Amen. Praise God. Praise ye the Lord. Give me some music as we sow and as we give. And as we're giving people time to give and to sow, <clears throat> I want to declare and decree the favor of God upon you. That things will change for your good and turn around for your favor. Amen. Make this a memorable rest of the year. Expect to see God's divine hand upon your life. You. Expect things to speed up. And I'm telling you, when he said, when he talks about head swimming blessings, that's what it does. It comes so quick that part of you wants to say, God, wait a minute, hold up. It's happening so fast. It's happening so fast. But no, he says, don't hold it up. You've been praying for it. Now receive it. Open up. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your state. Expand your capacity to handle and to receive more. Go ahead. If you got to open up some new accounts, open them up. Get ready for them to be filled in Jesus' name. Go ahead, get ready to sit down with your advisors and people around you to know how to handle and how to move your money right. Get ready for it. It's time to think different. It's time to believe different. It's time to trust different. Listen, money don't rule you. You rule it. Money makes a lousy master, but it makes a great servant. Glory to God. I'm going to have to do that lesson on the spirit of mammon, the spirit behind money. Yeah, that you're not doing everything based off of a financial transaction. Get in the purpose. Get into what God called you to do. The money will come. Money cometh unto you. Money going to start coming to you. I'm telling you like a river. Hear me. It's going to keep on coming. The money just keep on coming. Amen. The money just going to keep on coming. In the name of Jesus. Listen. And I, listen, I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just say it. The Lord told me about this. So he, I told my wife. He told me it was a ministry that I'm supposed to start sowing into personally. We sow into. And listen, we serve and we submit to a man and woman of God that walk in wealth, that walk in covenant wealth. And we walk, and we going to make a, listen, we have made a decision to walk in this covenant wealth, overflow. And he told me, he says, he told me, I, I'll say it, Apostle Leroy Thompson, he says, I want you to start sowing. He just told me personally what I need to start sowing every month. He says, I want you to tap into that anointing. I need this anointing on you. I need you to walk in this thing. <laughs> Just keep watching. That's all I'm going to tell you. We are in a blessing explosion. You better hear me what I'm telling you. I'm trying to wrap my mind, my mind around the level and what he's showing me. He says, I need you to teach them. The culture needs to shift drastically now. It's almost like I see it. It's almost, the cult, it's almost like it's not military, but it's the level of discipline, excellence, but blended with the love and compassion of Christ. It's going to be a thing like, oh my God. When the atmosphere is set, when there's an atmosphere of honor, when there's an atmosphere when you honor God and honor his service and honor the people, 
you talking about a blessing outpouring, you are going to see the signs, the wonders, and the miracles. You are going through kingdom training now. You can go through kingdom training. That when people come in, the atmosphere is set. And things will start happening with them, and they don't know why. Because in the session, you will have to start praying different now. Because now he says there's going to be such pinpoint accuracy that when people come in and they come into contact with the atmosphere that is so charged with the faith of God and the anointing of God and the goodness of man. Okay, Lord Jesus, I'm telling you, Lord Jesus. Sometimes it just come on me so heavy, I just want to release it on somebody. It just, the thing just come. Hallelujah. You're going to experience the reverse tug of the anointing. It's like he's going to grab you and pull you out of what you're in. You hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you ever go back again. Lift up your hands, woman of God. In the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of poverty. It will never touch you again. You foul spirit that has hampered and hindered this woman. For over 20 years, you come off her now in Jesus' name. You can't think broke. Abundant increase of faith. Everything you touch going to work. Yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. 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 Uh-uh. We ain't playing no games with this. Ooh. Shit, but that's my... See, when you... Be, okay. When the gifts of the Spirit are in operation, it was just like when the woman... Now, I'm not calling her and this woman the same category, but the woman who was going behind the men of God and said, these men are men that preach salvation, but then Paul perceived. You can be around for a minute, but then don't perceive. But then when your eyes are open spiritually, you perceive what's been happening. Just like when some people are dealing with sickness and disease, sometimes it's a spirit of infirmity. You deal with the spirit and the sickness automatically leaves. See, the Holy Ghost will tell you when it's a spirit behind it or if it's just something that needs to be corrected physically. Then you function and operate in the spirit of faith and you lay hands on the sick and expect them to recover. But in this particular case, he says, I need you to address that thing that's been attacking her life. Aha. And this time around, baby. I feel this thing all over me. I'm just telling you, I just, it's, just, it's just all over me. Whoo. It's like we snatching them out the pit. That's the boldness we're getting ready to walk in. Some ain't going to like it. And it ain't the people. I'm preparing you now, wherever you are. It's the spirit that's behind it. Because they, don't, they know they no longer can hide. When you start calling out stuff, it's not for embarrassment in any way. It's not in with embarrassment. I didn't even expect to do that. All I saw was me pulling her up out of that thing like it was... That's all I saw, and I just obeyed what I saw. But then when it happened, the rest came. Great joy. Yeah, great joy. And no shame. No shame. Shame, I commend, no, I commend that thing to leave and to stay gone. No pride. No pride. And now you can receive freely. Now you can receive freely. Mm. Hallelujah. And I call multiplied options. Ooh, Lord. Multiply. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Let me. Lord. 
And because you obeyed and you showed up, that's what it'll do. Believe the Lord your God and you'll be established. Believe his prophet and you'll prosper, baby. Yeah. Yeah. The drip is real. Whoo, whoo, I said, whoo, Lord. Whoo, Jesus. Man, I whoo, Lord. Man, you said, whoo, man, you said that, man. All the whoo, glory, glory. Whoo, <laughs> glory. Ah, now I see why persecution come with that to such a degree. Shh. Woo. Healing. Healing, too. Healing. Healing. And begin to walk regular. Begin to walk. Calisthenics. Loosen. Stretch. Your body needs it. And it'll help you. And you'll become stronger and stronger. Because this time now, when you go into intercession, it's going to be extremely heavy. And you will be like this on your floor. Because you're praying out things. Because the, now you're going to tap into the greatness of the anointing. Oh. Yeah. Whew. Okay, I'm trying to, Lord Jesus. I know we got to get out of here. We got to go. That's the strong, Lord. Whew. Yeah. It is so. So make sure you eat well tonight and you rest well because your body needs to recover now. And it's going to be strengthened with the spirit of might. And you're going to sleep well tonight. And you finally going to let him go in your mind. And you're going to rest in the fact it's already done. I got him. I told you I got him. Mm -hmm. And I hear it. Mom, mom, mom. Guess what? Mom, mom, mom. I hear it. 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 Whoo. This. Those that are watching online, be ready. The Spirit of God is invading your situation as well. He's invading your situation as well. Yep, we're going to praise God with him. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise for our sister. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. So we declare in Jesus' name, all is well with you. Thank you for joining us today. I declare and decree over your life that it is well in Jesus' name. Well, we are here changing the culture, igniting the passion, and living the dream. God bless you all. Have a safe day. Have a great Thanksgiving week. In Jesus' name, love you guys. Take care.